Salaman, Salaman. Today we are going to discuss lecture 41. And the title of this lecture is Quran Outlaws Saudi Hajj by Air or by Camel. So this is a very important lecture today. So Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, humanity should be happy, feel pleasure that this Quran provide you gradual development and as well as intensive development for the humanity. Wherever you put this constitution, so it will give you all the necessary favorable circumstances just like in the mother womb, just like in the earth womb. So it has its own, it's, it has its own economy system, social system, justice system and family system, government system. It has nothing to do with the communism or democracy or whatever this existing Islam or the religious Islam, nothing to do, it's a separate. So that is the reason I'm going to discuss this Hajj. It is not the part of what what we are doing on the on the Ipa Hajj or what we have fabricated. So the Saudi Hajj is a sacred and luxurious business. It has nothing to do with the Quran. I will bring all the two, three verses to support my claim. To promote this market of, to promote the market of this holy business, Saudi government has started to offer special packages. I will discuss only two. The VIP Hajj and Umrah packages include staying in the five-star hotel and with first-class air travel. So all these five-star hotels, they belong to the Western countries and the royal family. All the other capitalist people, either from Kuwait or from other Middle East countries. Then the other one is the couple Hajj and Umrah packages. So newly married, they attract them. And uh, from Indonesia, all the young couples are coming because the Dutch was their colonizer. So they hired the Mufti or the religious leader when they left you know, Indonesia. So they asked him to issue the fatwa or decree that before your nikah or mangani or engagement, you should first perform Umrah or Hajj. So that is the reason all the Malaysian, Indonesian who are coming on the Hajj, so they are a young couple and they, they come with makeup. But the other nation, they, they cover their head, no makeup, nothing like that. So, so this is the two packages they have. Now here's a question arise. Do you think Ibrahim, Sayyidina Ibrahim or Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, they were performing VIP Hajj or couple Hajj? Just think. Use your head. Use your God-gifted reasoning. The, to promote this godly business, Saudi royal family utilizing the following marketing channel to collect billions of dollars. It's a sacred business, luxurious business. The Saudi Hajj is a sacred and luxurious business. Mask all over the world. First of all, Saudi royal family, they funded all the mosques in America, in 
USA in Europe and then other Islamic country because it was their plan that they will use this mosque for the promotion of the Hajj and whatever they, are, they have given the money they will collect more than that. So they are business people. So that is the reason they use the mosque now. All your Hajj package or Umrah package they are arranged by the mosque people. Then parasitic religious leaders minting money from this holy business. In Saudi Arabia it's a big business. They have opened their shop. In Pakistan and all other Islamic countries they are agent. Travel agent all over the world. Saudi government approved Hajj and Umrah agents to promote the market of this holy business. When I was in Saudi Arabia, free Hajj, I never pay a single cent. But now they are taking money from the local house. So now the Quran in the verse 22 to 7, why isn't it nas? What is the Hajj? I am giving you the now. The right definition. What is the purpose of Hajj? Why then fin nas bil Hajj yatugu rajalun wa ala kulle damrun yatina min kullu fahaj amit? Let me give you a very first. Okay. Yusuf Ali and proclaim the pilgrimage among men. Look how they kept the translation. Pilgrimage and Nas. So they make it religion. How they kept this message? All the Quran, all the translator. Among men, what about women? So, according to this translation, the pilgrimage should be men or men only because it is written on all the translation, not only this. Men, male. They will come to the on the foot. On the foot. Look what they have done with you and you are spending billions of dollars giving them this royal family. I will give the translation of Rajal. And mounted on very every kind of camel. So what they are saying that you perform the Hajj either by walking on foot or by camel. But both is not going now. But now they are, they are going by air. That is the reason I put the title of this lecture that Quran outlaws air traveling. And now they are now using camel or Hajanura. So what they have written, they themselves rebellious of their writing. They are dishonoring their writing, their translation. And Quran does not accept either air, air base, sorry, air traveling, or camel, or by foot. It is all foolish thing we are doing. We dishonor the Quran. Kullu damar, camel. So what the Hajj they are doing, if they, they follow the Quran, the camel, so they should, their Hajj will not be accepted by Allah, what they are saying. Because no one is going by Dhamma now. 
and an account of journey through deep and distant mountain highways kullu fajr ami so this is your translation and this is our disaster because they give the opium to this nation i have to work very hard to remove this darkness so let me first give you look the quran does not accept either by camel either by food either by aircraft it is there even what it is written over here that by camel or by food they are not following that what they are claiming they are not owning it they initiated it they fabricated this such and now they are not honoring it they themselves disobeying their statement but quran is different from that quran is a noble book it's a understandable book damar first of all they make the damar means weak camel lean camel so this damar mean depressed valley number 1 lean or light flesh weak and lean or light flesh and nation weak or depressed nation this is the right meaning of that not camel it is about about us i mean they make the meek distant mountain highway hajja amik this is signify it was become very deep or how great or far extended in depth suppose you make the speech so it should be deep thinking it has distant remote effect and right effect and amik also known clarified butter you know what are you know we clarify it means when you make a speech you should be clean you should be refined nice deep thinking tamakul fil amal a man whose speech has depth so this is the meaning of amik which they made the mountain So now let me give the translation now. And it is permitted from the Quranic Federation they make the announcement permission. What permission? That everywhere, where the, all the provinces of the Quran or the city where the people are working, the Quranic Federation and made the announcement. with nas not blaming it humanity loving people socially active people and nas not blaming it to make arrangement for assembly to have conclusion discussion to resolve the naughty affairs bil hajj so what quran is saying that quranic community should the quranic foundation the head office which is a rab make the announcement that we have given the permission that you carry on this meeting any city any town to discuss the problem until and until you will not discuss the problem that you will not solve that but now you cannot discuss problem in the mosque in any madrasa any on hajj umrah you cannot discuss what is the bil hajj to discuss make a conclusion dis- discussion discussion assemblies gathering anywhere but our mosque these mouse are the cemetery they are the graveyard you cannot speak anything over it 
because that is dominated by the Adi Sunnah. No Quran in any way, in any mosque. And then to pursue specially upon to all weak and lean segment of the society. Those you know segment of the society, Dhamar, lean and weak, economic situation is not good. And Dhamar also means the mere constitution. Uh, conscious mean the poor person conscious is dead because he cannot do anything. So especially Quran is saying you should also bring them, bring them in your assembly to discuss. Let you listen to them. What is their problem? To come, yatini, ask them you come and present all affairs with vastness and clamoring way. Min kullu fajjan. Fajj mean vastan. And also fajj mean clamoring means some fun also. Before discussion, you can have music, you can have art, you can have fun, but it should be limited. This is a fajj. Not like what you are doing in the mass. This man is speaking, he does not know what he is doing. What is speaking, but you have to listen to the khutbah. You have to sit over there, because it is coming from a forefather. And make the presentation of their point of view, or the prob problematic affairs with deep examination in refined, excellent and clarified way, during their speeches, leaving deep and far distant impression or result to resolve the serious affair. Amik. So in this discussion, anywhere, not in Makkah, they allow you to discuss anything. Even the Prada Khutbah, which is not in the Quran any Khutbah. They are, they are not permitting the people to speak openly. They put them behind the bar. They put so many religious people behind the bar, in the house arrest or in the jail. Before 50 years they enjoy with them. They give them money. They are also parasite. The royal family is also parasite. So there was a clash between them. So this is the meaning of Hajj. It does not mean you come by camel or you come by boat or you come by aircraft. That is why I put the title of this lecture that Quran outlaws Saudi Hajj, not Quranic Hajj, Saudi Hajj, either by aircraft or by camel. So this is out of question. Now you know what is the meaning of Hajj. You know. And go check all the translation. They are same garbage, you know. It is in search of the Quran. Then, in verse 22 28, the Quran explained that the purpose of Hajj is to protect the human being from the human kind of animals. They are all human kind of animals all over, you know, head of state, all over political leader, all over religious leader, they are kind of animals. They are not thinking about the people. They only think about themselves. They are beasts, you know. Look what Quran say about them. لِيَشْهَدُوا مَنَافَ لَهُمْ وَيَذِكْرُوا إِسْمَ اللَّهُ so the Yusuf Ali make that translation that, that they may witness the benefits provided for them and celebrate the name of Allah through the days appointed over the cattle which has been provided for them sacrifice. Where is the cattle? Where is the sacrifice? 
It's a shame on them. Let me give you what is the according to the grammar, according to the lexicon, it is not here you see with this translation based on the these because that is why we have problem. You can't understand the Quran. So that they may witness, you know, after these meetings, after the discussion, after your speeches. So that the people should witness. You know, the Congress, they are discussing, discussing, discussing. They are on different level. Which Islamic country discussing anything? One person government everywhere. What witness the step or reforms which have been carried all for their beneficial or betterment? Manaf Allahum. These meetings are for you, your benefit, your economic problem, your social problem, your family problem, your government problem, justice problem, not for the circulation, or not for the Safa Marwa, or not for staying in the hotels or not go to the mena and or throwing the stone on the sh shaitan. Nothing like that. What Quran is saying, so you should know what we are doing for the benefit, for your benefit. And remain, remind or promote by zakru. In this meeting, zikr of the Quranic constitution, they, they made the speech in, in the light of the Quran. What the lofty laws of Allah, really the laws of Quran, you know, I'm the student, I have now made the translation up to Surah 23, it opened my eyes. Ismallah lofty laws. In this assigned period of acquaintance, we ayam al malumat, in which you have a discussion. Suppose you have one day, two days, one hour. Ayam doesn't mean days, the time period. Critical time period. Malumat. You exchange the information. This is a critical time that we need, you know, we have economic problem, we have weapon problem, we have justice problem. So these are the things you should discuss, which will provide you provision for your body, all the basic necessity of life. housing, furniture, eatable thing, and as well as intellectual food of thoughts. Does it mean provision and as well as intellectual sustenance, intellectual nourishment for that purpose, Quran had the research center. We are busy in praying, but Quran does not accept praying anything else. It says, you know, we are doing this praying from centuries and repeating the Hajj, repeating the Umrah, repeating the praying. It's an it's a insanity. It's a confusion. No result will come. We are insane. It's a worse kind of insanity. We are repeating. Allah ma rizakam. Rizakam for body as well as your mind, you know, intellectual for mind, both. When you make the research center, you use your mind, you use your wisdom, then you have a plenty of eating things, food, everything. 
result uh, after the result of your research you will make the change in the system in the system so to protect you from these ambiguous and perplexed bullies are human animals behimatul anham it is not a cattle for the sacrifice it is all your rulers all your religious leader all your imam of mosque they are behimatul anham human animals they are doing injustice with the quran from the centuries with the people so that you may exercise your authority of reasoning in this subject fakalu minha fakalu min also eating but fakalu min also exercising your authority your power and provide economical refreshment vatamu atamu refreshment what refreshment economy you will be free from the economic servitude this is the this me, meaning of this me, the meeting the purpose of the meeting that humanity should be free from the economic servitude it's a worse kind of slavery and also religious slavery and all of that so this is what i am refreshment good economy to those who are in sorrow misery albas no 75% muslim population whether 80% they are in boss they are living in sorrow misery there is no basic necessity all this our wealth the muslim leader of the country or the political or the religion it is their hand they are they are controlling it halal business from emirate from qatar only putting the name halal it is a 10 billion dollar 8 to 10 billion dollar business and if you ask them what is the meaning of halal nobody knows because they got the fatwa from the mufti oh this is halal this is haram and those whose spine has been broken by the calamity of the poverty of fakir look quran brought both so this is the purpose of hajj that these meetings intellectual meeting discussions where you can speak openly so solve the problem what problem you are solving by the present has you are giving this rich royalty billions of dollar every year for what and they could not make a one quranic research center they are making a big building five star hotel high rise building why they are making i know it because this money should go to all best they are working for them so this is the meaning of hajj umrah open your eyes they are living arab they are living in the darkness they are insane you open your eye quran is a very good book just debate on the quran when you start understanding the quran you will be free from all this virus which we have now a ritual praying worship of god going to hajj umrah eid this is nothing it is all fabrication it has nothing to do with look i give you the definition of the hajj from the two verse tell me what is wrong with this and why you are going and wasting your money over there so this is 
lecture one and tomorrow or after two days the part two is a continuation of the same subject so the Quran does not accept any what the Hajj they are doing or what you are doing that is the reason I give the title the Quran outlaws of Hajj by aircraft or as well as by camel so they they corrupted the Quran. They mislead you. They give you fairy tales. Thank you very much.